mankind take food from the hungry to give to those who are starving. What are our politicians doing here is taking food from the starving to give to the already belly full and have its own citizens in the streets protesting for better salaries to put food on their children's table. You get what I'm saying there? Joshua? Yes, sir. This morning, there were thousands of people in the streets in downtown Port of Spain in Trinidad protesting a 2% increase. We'll give you an update on it later. Hmm. Hmm. Call a protest in Guyana for your own wealth, for your own benefit, and nobody shows up. <laughs> What's the song? I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. <laughs> Namaste again, Uncle Nati. This country is moving so fast. Critical things are happening so quickly from all angles. It is difficult to choose what to say when these program nights come around. If it's not one large contract which is called doggery attached to it, is a new robbery every day in the oil sector. The gold sector, the bauxite sector, and every sector you can think about in this country. Where they have big money to make. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had planned to expand on what those international experts said Wednesday night about the renewal of the Lisa One permit. How much money Guyana can get without renegotiating that lopsided contract. But, like I said, things happening so fast. I put that off to deal with something that I believe you need to hear and know tonight. It shouldn't be left for Monday. Yesterday, we celebrated independence and not a word you hear from our president and our opposition leader about our resources, our wealth. Not a word. Not a word where is it and what's going on with it. Not a single word about that. Instead, them talking about fish cage and agriculture among some other frivolous things. One song, them singing over and over, all over Guyana for the last 30 years, while the foreigners fetching out every single thing free, in some cases tax free. I talked about the secret Canadian company just now, and last week, boasting about the mega gold find them on earth worth over half of a billion U.S. dollar. And they're boasting to the shareholders how they plan to widen and deepen the drilling. Hmm. That will probably have them boasting next. Not only half, billion, they're already fine. But in billions of U.S. dollars to the shareholders. All this is being done while we President Ali boasting about Demerara Harbor Bridge, that we borrow money for bill, and Norton, on the other hand, complaining about Ali breaching agreement for a second meeting. This is the kind of things they're talking about. This is your country called Guyana, uncle. What else more can I say? We are reporting tomorrow for the first time in the Kaicho News, that another foreign company boasting to their shareholders, this time is not for gold. This is for bauxite. This company working, like I said, out of Bonsica, 
a stone throw away from where President Ali, born and grew in Lenora, just up the, the Essequibo River, opposite Fort Island. Left Georgetown, go to Parika, and in half of an hour you meet there. Hmm. Just like the Canadian company boasting about the mega gold find, this American company boasting about not only the mega find of bauxite, but the quality of bauxite they find to the world. You hear that? Mm -hmm. hmm. You know what I mean, Ms. Harris? The, the bauxite they find got real value, mm -hmm. real dollars. Yes, this is why they can boast. We already, had, we already have two, Bosai and Rusal. They're in here years now, and Guyana getting nothing out of, out of them. Hmm. The same bauxite that doesn't have value? Yes. The same bauxite they said they will lose money on. Wow. Now a foreign company, American company saying they find how much they find mm -hmm. and the, the quality they find. Yes. yes. This country has the best of everything, Uncle and Auntie. But still you, the citizens of this country, are the worst off in the world today. <laughs> You know what I mean, Miss Harris? Every day that goes by. Yes. Every single day that goes by, they're making each one of us into animals. Come, baby, come eat this. Come, dog, take this bone. That's how Guyanese people are being treated in their own country with their own high value mega wealth. Yeah, man. This is why the union had to hold a protest today at the labor ministry, begging for more bones for our brothers and sisters in this country. You following me, man? Am I clear? Yes, you Thank are. you. Foreigners coming in this country secretly, finding we gold, we diamond, we timber, we bauxite, we manganese, and the Guyanese people who own it doesn't know anything. If the politicians do put out a statement, is one or two paragraph or one or two minute well worded and memorized speech. Yes. Three gold companies. Larger than oh my coming soon, according to the financial guru Ashni Singh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh boy. Hear how he informing Guyana, Miss Harris. Let me play back that tape for you people to hear again how he given away Guyana's wealth. Listen to him carefully. Contemplate for a moment. Three large-scale developments, each of which is larger than Omai. Consider for a moment that each one of these will probably be employing more than a thousand Guyanese persons. Consider the food and other supplies that they will need, the transport services, the construction services, the equipment supply and maintenance services, and all of the multiplier benefits that three large-scale gold mining operations will generate in Guyana. Hmm. Wow. You know how significant Omai was? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, Mr. Ashley Singh, we don't know. You should tell us and bring us, bring us the figures how significant Omai was and what Guyana got. Hmm. You know what we got, Uncle? Cyanide spill that kill me brothers and sisters and still killing them on to now with that deadly cyanide. Hmm. The man said, contemplate for a moment three large scale developments, each of which is larger than Omai. Oh hmm. What developments this man talking about, Uncle? What developments Omai oh bring to this country or give him to Guyana so far? What are we getting? What is the deal Guyana getting, Ashni Singh? 
The corporate people that working in there collecting slice bread mo money while they're fetching out our goal in the billions of US dollars? Huh? If Omai oh was good for this country, then why are we still borrowing money from IDB and CDB to buy, buy flash drives for them children in the schools, Ashley Singh? Hmm? Somebody tell me something, man. Where is the oh my contract? Where you have it hidden, Mr. Singh? Or that is confidential too? Ms. Harris, let me ask him this question. The goal oh my taking out belong to him or his parents that we can't see? What's the deal? None of them. Huh? Uncle, you guys have answer for that? Consider for a moment, each one will probably employ a thousand people. His words that, you know. Consider for a moment, each one will probably, you hear the word? Will probably employ a thousand people. <laughs> wow. Just like what Omai doing. <laughs> Supply food, provide services, yes, that is it. Uh, a few Guyanese will be employed as security guards, tail and workers, cleaners, and some will provide Polori and Chana, cassava balas food. Mm -hmm. Some will provide construction services to put up a couple of in tents and fix one and two of the boat engines when they go down. Yes. That is what Ashley Singh will give Guyana. That's what he said saying that and continue to say <laughs> all all of that is a multiplier benefits yes this three gold mining operations will generate in guyana you hear that where is the multiplier benefits with all the gold diamond and bauxite companies in guyana mr ashley singh who get it you get it and i went away with it you sure is that you and your government people alone benefiting from all these things you're talking about, man? Hmm? I would like you to name one Guyanese family who are reaping the multiplying benefits you're talking about from any one of the foreign companies in Guyana. You care to do that? Huh? Uncle? Hmm. When I hear these people talk, I just feel like vomit or commit myself. Every time they talk, you know what, Ms. Harris? I believe they memorize the script given to all of them. Mm -hmm. Like the teacher write it out and pass it down in the cabinet. So all of them keep repeating the same thing. Perfect. Yes. I never heard that a country signing deals with an outsider, telling its nation about jobs and services with multiplying benefits, giving away wholesale the country's wealth. Never heard of something like that. <laughs> Only in Guyana. And then say jobs. Only in Guyana you hear these clungs. Yes. <laughs> Saying things like this. Man, I am tired. God have to bless Guyana. And bless you too, Uncle and Auntie. Yes. You guys notice, he did not tell this nation a single word where these people will be going and how much land was granted to them. Huh? He did not mention a word about the tax concessions that will be granted for them to fetch out the goal. Not a word. And most importantly, he did not say a single word about what Guyana would be benefiting financially from our gold. Yes, these three companies that will be coming soon. <coughs> No. Uh -uh. Not a single word you hear about that. Uncle, 
they will be just like Exxon Mobil. We, pay, we would be paying them to fetch out the gold and they walk away without paying a cent tax. This is what you call a double, triple, quadruple whammy. Yes, sitting on our back. That's what they have them doing in this country. Sunday, we are carrying a story in the Kaicho News. I want you people to read it even if you got to share the newspaper with your neighbor. Because I know some of you can't afford to buy it. Canada just announced the increase in royalty rates for the oil sector. Shall I repeat that? Canada just announced the increase in royalty rates for their people, the Canadian people. Joshua, yes. the United States in December increased their royalty rates. And yesterday, England slapped on, yes, taxes 25%. On the oil and gas giants in their country. You hear me, man? US, Canada, and now UK, all increasing royalty rates and taxes on the oil giants for their country and their people. Guyana politicians, yes, the opposition leader running away from the world renegotiation of royalty rates while the government who promised to review and renegotiate for better terms in the oil contract swinging them out away from that you hear that hmm? just imagine <clears throat> uncle Glenn Lal the same man talking to you guys here have to find lawyers to challenge the government for allowing Exxon to walk away without paying taxes. Which all Guyanese, which all Guyanese rich and poor have to pay. And hear this, uncle. Exxon Mobil jump in the case with the government using our oil money to fight against me. Yes. <laughs> uncle, every cent them spend on lawyers. To fight against me coming out from your little profit, your oil profit. You think ExxonMobil going in their pocket to pay lawyers? Eh uh eh. -uh. Is your little oil money them using to fight me? Yes. Let's move on though. Tonight is not that topic. To just to justify the raising of royalties, Uncle Miss Harris. The Canadian government said for too long a broken system of fossil fuel subsidies has failed to ensure citizens fully benefit from their resources. <laughs> wow. Uncle, let me repeat the thing for you, man. Let me repeat it. They said... The Canadian government said, for too long, a broken system of fossil fuel subsidies has failed to ensure citizens fully benefit from their resources. Hmm. Let me explain what that sentence means, piece by piece for your uncle and auntie. That fancy word subsidy means helping, supporting, and propping up these oil companies with tax-paying dollars of the people of Canada. That is what it means. Basically, the man said the Canadian people using their tax money to prop up these multi-billion dollar oil companies and not getting in return anything close to the kind of benefits they are supposed to get. Yes. And as a Canadian, and the American government said, and as the Canadian, the American government said, yes, this has been going on for too long and royalty rates have to be increased. 
You hear that? Both of them said the same thing. It's like a man come in your backyard, picking out, picking your mangoes, and you daddy taking the children little money they're working for, for help the mango picker. And when they catch themselves, them say, eh, eh, we getting robbed from two sides. The mangoes and the little money where we children throwing in. That's how simple it is, uncle. That is what is called subsidy. Government subsidizing the oil companies. Guyana started off with every foreign company doing worse than that. Every foreign company that is in this land, they are using our tax dollars to facilitate the fetch away of everything. Yeah, man. In the case of Guyana, we helping in every way you can think of. Allowing them to walk away without paying taxes is the most critical one. Fixing and building new roads and bridges. What the foreign companies got to use is another way of subsidizing or supporting them with the poor people tax money. Yes. These political clowns boastfully bringing in these people, fattening them with vitamins and tonic, <laughs> while me and you can't even get proper medicine or tonic at the hospital. Guyana just spent, uncle and auntie, four million US dollars to remove them three ships that sink at the mouth of the Demerara River. For allow, for allow free access, <laughs> to give free access for the oil companies. Yes. So that they can come in, pick up their stuff and go back to the rigs. Yeah, man. Four million US. Yes. And Guyana borrowing money for do that. Because of four million US had to come out with budget. This is why they can't give increase. Bernard, can you sing? I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. <laughs> Giving them our prime land, almost free. To build Exxon Mobil headquarters mm -hmm. is another subsidy, uncle. To build housing schemes and hotels is yet another subsidy, auntie. Money from the country's pocket. That money could have been used to fix all them village roads and bridges and help them pensioners, them poor people, and still increase salaries. That is what the world subsidy means, uncle. Give away our behinds and leaving you to mess through your ribs. That's what is going on in this country. Give away the oil free without paying any taxes. Give them all the subsidies to make them more filthy rich while borrowing money from the international lending agencies or institutions to have its people live like stray dogs. Yes, the Demerara Harbor Bridge, them so proudly announcing, is borrow money. 260 million US. And this is only the start. When it's done, it's going to reach 460 million. Anybody betting? Just like the airport? Yes. Borrowing 260 million and giving away 687 million in taxes to ExxonMobil already. Geniuses. Man, this is what you call economic geniuses we have running this country. I only hope Joel Bagwan didn't listen to these things. Did you call it today? And call in. The Canadian government, Auntie, says under their royalty system, the oil companies will now have to pay top dollars to get access to their natural gas resource and share their revenue with the owners. 
<laughs> They're telling them, come with your wallets or don't come here at all. That's what they're saying there, uncle. They say, if you can't give the people real money, you got to get out. You guys hear that, uncle? Yeah, yeah. This is rich, rich, rich Canada. Talking about top dollars for access to their resources. Mm -hmm. What about we? <laughs> what about Guyana? What did we get for our oil blocks? <laughs> and what are we getting at present from the deal? <laughs> one percent and two percent. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm getting tired these days, you know. The Americans raised their oil revenue. The British raised theirs too. And now the Canadians raised their royalty rates. That is even higher than the United States. You hear me about that? Them have a sliding scale system that starts from 5% to 40% royalty body. Wow. What Guyana raise from that 1% and 2%? Yes, them raising the skirts. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what they're raising, uncle. Your leaders raising their, 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 their clothes. Yep. Wednesday, Wednesday you heard from the international exports that the five-year permit for Lisa One is up for renewal next week. Mm -hmm. Yes. Next week, Tuesday, May 31st. Mm -hmm. You heard the experts say, Guyana now has a golden opportunity before renewing that permit to correct, fix, and change all the mistakes we made so that we can get something far better for the Guyanese people without renegotiating the oil contract. They said that very clear, Uncle. Yeah, man. Doing this, Uncle, will be a start to put a smile on the citizen's face of this country. What do you say, man, Bernard? Yeah. This is how we can get salary increase, uncle. Old age pension can increase. Better roads, better hospitals with medication, with medication and tonic. <laughs> yes, inside for a start. Mm -hmm. And the beauty about this, we do not have to renegotiate the contract, uncle. Mr. President, we do not have to renegotiate the contract. Mr. Opposition Leader, we do not have to renegotiate the oil contract. Yeah. ExxonMobil had five years enjoying all the benefits of that permit. In the billions of US dollars why they were giving us crumbs. Now, presently, yes. You guys are in a position to make all the changes we want. Yeah. To really wring out some money in which we, are ro which we were robbed. Mm -hmm. Yes. In that contract. They have to beg for the contract. They, they, um... What do you think will happen, Uncle? Come Tuesday. This is the moment for them to shine. Will they do it, Uncle? Huh? This is not a game. This is not a game. You have seen what the UK, USA, and Canada just did. This is a war go we're going through. And our leaders have to be warlords. Both President Ali and Aubrey Norton have to show what they're made of. How much steel in their backs. And how much wisdom in their heads. They must fight. They have eggs on, on the ropes right now. And we hold the permit renewal in our hands. They must not fail us, man. Eh, Miss Harris? They must capitalize on this golden opportunity right now. What do you say, Bernard? I hope so. Eh, Kevin? We have to ensure that they do that. All of us, including none other than myself, 
will back them to the fullest. I will personally, I will personally salute them and consider stopping this program. And I am certain that all of you, all of you, will give them a, a salute too. Would you, Ms. Harris? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Make us proud, Mr. Norton and Ms. Ali. This golden opportunity is there for the taking. Staring us in our face. Let's seize it and get the best out of it. I am supporting you right through with this. The oil companies have already walked away with 3.6 billion US dollars, while Guyana had to settle with 52 million dollars after paying Exxon taxes. <laughs> More than half of that 3.6 billion US dollars supposed to be in our pockets already instead of that 52 million dollar. What can buy even chicken feed or a Chinese food for anybody? They can't, uncle. They should not and must and must not be allowed to continue to get away with this this highway called doggery. No way, man. They must not. Mr. Ali and Mr. Norton have to make it right. They have to correct it. And they cannot fail us now. No way. You know, Ms. Harris, we have carried two front page comments since the international people spoke about this golden opportunity we have with this renewal of this permit. Yes, two front page comments we carried. How important it is to every citizen's pocket, mm -hmm. you know? And I plan to, yes, until May 31st, every day on the front page, to have a comment just to ensure that Guyana understands what has to be done, what should be done, and what must be done for the benefit of all Guyana and its people. I will continue to do that. Tomorrow again, I will have one. You know? I think I've said enough. I have done more than my part. The U.S., the UK and Canada, let me repeat, which had the highest rate of income from their oil and gas resources compared to the world, yes, went further and increased their royalty or revenues. Yes, they're seeking higher rates to get more benefits for their people. Guyana, on the other hand, who are the worst oil contract in the world, afraid to renegotiate it. Hmm. But now has a golden opportunity, starting with this Lisa One renewal permit to extract, to extract from the oil companies our fair share, what is rightfully ours, uncle, without even Touching the contract. Yes. That's where we are today, Uncle. We can get a fair share for the present and the future generations. That is what is at stake here, Uncle and Auntie. Let's wait and see what they will do come next week, Tuesday. A young Ukrainian girl in her 30s took it upon herself with a few mechanics, repairing vehicles, and then she driving them one by one, 800 deadly and dangerous miles to give to her soldiers to continue the battle, the war, Russia wage against Ukraine. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Are you understand that? Hmm? Iranian President Imran Khan, yes, the world famous cricketer. He was ex Prime Minister and was 
voted no confidence motion and throughout about two weeks ago. Yes. Two days ago, mm -hmm, he shut down Karachi, the main city, and gave the government a deadline that if, he, if an election date is not announced in six days, he is coming out back into the streets with his people to shut down the entire Pakistan. Yeah, man. I told you those two stories to let you understand what is going on. Because if by Monday, May 30th, a statement doesn't come out as to what these leaders are planning to do with this renewal permit, I am going in front, yes, Officer the President, at 10.30 a.m. I'm starting out first from the square of the revolution. Yes. To Monday morning at 10.30 a.m. You're invited to join me. Yes. Mr. President, please don't let it reach to this stage. Let us don't have to come and protest you to do the right thing. Be a warrior for Guyana. Please. And I only hope I hear from the opposition leader Norton or he join me with his team too. This way we will know if they are serious. Yeah, man. Should I say amen, Josh? Hmm? You know, Josh, before I take your calls, listen to this tape from our Vice President, what he had to say. find ways and means to eking out benefits for the Guyanese people. The time is now, Mr. Jardel. You don't have to renegotiate the lopsided contract that the coalition signed. This is the opportunity. This is the time for you now. Yes. Now that you're heading the oil sector to eke out more benefits for all the Guyanese people. What do you say he will do now, Uncle? You heard him there, loud and clear. He's not renegotiating the contract, but he will be eking out more for the Guyanese people from the oil and gas contracts. You have to listen to him. You gotta listen to him again. The presided over I issuing some of the worst work permits in the past and we had nothing to say about it for like the one and like the two 25 years um, environmental permit was given to Exxon when the law says only five years you should give an environmental permit for so the EPA has credible explanations Mr. President I don't think we have to do that they can go to the EPA website this is a regulatory body and they will explain their own procedures and they are following the law and it's very, the approach is consistent with the law as far as we're, we're concerned. So this is a crucial, crucial matter for, for us moving Thank on. you. You heard him there, Uncle and Auntie, accusing the coalition government of issuing the worst permits. Yeah in the past for Lisa 1 and 2 and them didn't say anything about it yes he didn't say anything about it Did he take them before? yes you guys hear you guys hearing these politicians words hmm? 
Why they didn't say anything about it? Huh? You know it was wrong. Why didn't they say anything about it? Did you hear the report? You want to hear the answer, Bernard? Yes. Huh? Yes. Come yes. to the first. Yes. You will hear the answer. They all are part and parcel of this complete sellout of our country's resources and wealth. Mark those words, uncle. Mark it, auntie, I said what I said there. Yes, they are together, sell out. The same permit he described as worse granted by the coalition is in his face right now for renewal, uncle. You heard him. The same worse permit that Exxon um, gave is in his face right now for renewal. Let's wait and see. He said, he went on further to say, 25 years license was given to ExxonMobil when they last five years. He's correct. Hmm? He wants to come over looking good, saying that. He is not telling the world, uncle and auntie, that his two private citizens, like myself, who had to go to court. Yes. Had to go to court. And had that 25 years reversed to five years. Yes. What he and his government should have done, two private citizens did for this country and its citizens. And you hear how he's boasting about it? You hear how he's boasting about that? Yes. He cussing down the coalition uh -huh. about, about not um, giving away the Lisa 1 and Lisa 2 permit. Right? And he didn't fight to, to thing it. Two citizens had to go to court to fight to it. Yeah, man. Just like how me went to go to court to fight for the, the taxes.